This is the lock picking newbie. And uh, I don't know if you just heard that thunder outside. We'll see if we get some more during this video. Today, wow. Today, the day I'm making, uh, recording the video is uh, Lotto Lock Tuesday. However, let me check. Yeah, uh, I will, I think I will um, post this on uh, tomorrow, on Wednesday. Whatever the Wednesday hashtag is. Anywho, um, today I want to do a video um, in support of Cherokee. Um, and uh, she is doing a giveaway, very cool. Um, she received a set of eight lotto locks from Culper Woodhill and his son, um, Lock Picking Kid, uh, that, which is a very cool package. And she now uh, is going to share that with the lock picking community in the form of this giveaway. So Cherokee Lotto 8. And I'm really looking forward to this. Um, I have fresh run out of lotto locks to pick. If you go back and look at my lotto videos, I've got a lot, a lot of locks and I've picked them all. Uh, so anyway, this is gonna be great. And in addition to it being um, Lotto Lock Tuesday and whatever the Wednesday hashtag is, it is also package opening day. Um, I got this on eBay, and as with many of these, I'm embarrassed to say I don't re remember what it is. Um, but let's get into it and see if we can figure it out. All right. In one of my videos, somebody made a comment about how I, I cut the boxes, and I think I don't know, I think he was like making fun of me for cutting away from myself, or maybe he was mocking me because I said I would cut away from myself and I didn't actually cut away from I can't remember. Okay, well, anywho, I try to cut away from myself uh, because I don't like to, I would rather avoid by any means necessary getting, what in the world could this be? Uh, getting, you know, slicing my whole hand open. All right, well, as you can see from the return label, it was from a, an eBay seller called Cool Stuff. And uh, we had the little um, peanuts in there and then the lock is nicely wrapped in some foamy stuff. So this is gonna be sweet. There's a, okay, it says, just wanna make sure. Uh, nice handwritten, thank you from Joe. Well done. Thank you, Joe. And see we have, oh, it's a tiny little thing. Oh, it's a Reese. Okay, now I really didn't remember which one of these it was. Um, this is appropriate because Cherokee and I have sort of a Reese thing. Uh, she opened a Reese lock on her, a, a Reese uh, dimple lock which was stupidly easy to open. So I went and bought one, and then I got a Reese spelled the other way um, and sent that to her as, a, as it's a warded lock. Um, okay, so let's see. Let's figure out how to pick this thing. I'm gonna probably need to use a little bit of a skinnier, yep. And then I'm gonna go ahead and, okay. So not only is it Lotto Lock Tuesday and whatever, it is also Swap Picks Day because, and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. Let's see. If we can catch a focus, there we go. So if you see, if you notice that that pick makes a right turn and a left turn, and it's not too great, the pick on the left. Um, so I've gotten a lot of good service out of this pick and now it's done. I might have to come back to it later. All right. So before I actually, um, officially pick the lock, I'm going to just feel for pins and I'm feeling one, two, three, four, 
um, five pins. Okay, and the um, it's all kind of nicely brushed um, together. You know, after they assembled it, they did the brush pass. So that's really neat. And um, uh, I will just say I haven't been really picking all that much lately. Uh, so let's just see how this goes. I hope it goes well. Right, because I've picked that dimple respranded re lock and it was terrible. And then I picked the warded lock, which of course was trivial. And here's a pin tumbler. I guess we'll find out how we do. Okay. So officially, let's pick. Okay, I'm on pin one. Not much going on there. Not too much on two. Little click on three. Nothing much on four. Little click on five. Back to the beginning. And one is just kind of hard in there. It's not really very accessible. Two. I might need to get some skinnier. I might need to get that thinner pick because I think the warding might be causing me some issues here. Not sure which way it opens. I'm I'm tensioning clockwise. No key, of course. And I'm getting a lot of drag on the warding. So guess what? Even though I have introduced my new pick, not going to use it. So let me see if I can get a 15 thousandths pick out, out of here without having it fly everywhere. All right. Hey, this is what you, have, what you get when you do a pick from package. Right? Maybe this will be pick from package Wednesday. And I will just tell you these 15 thousandths, I try to be so careful on. Let me make sure I'm focusing on the right thing here. All right, I'm just feeling for pins. I'm trying to be real gentle. So I don't know if you can hear that outside, but uh, I'll try to watch the sound meters, but there's definitely some thunder going on out there. Yeah, because when I like push down on, oh, there we go. M most of these pins, when I push down on them, they just don't want to move. And then the pick sort of gets stuck. Okay, there was a click on like two or three. All right, you guys must have heard that. There's another click back on like four, maybe. I might want to, I might, hmm, I was going to say I might switch to bottom of the keyway, but because I'm just getting drag all over the place. You know, Sparrows has the, that pick set that are 12 thousandths. And then I do have some SS devs, but they're all bent like crazy. All right. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't hear any of the pins release. I thought I felt clicks with both of these number ones, but see when I try to come from the top past the warding like this, it's a tight turn. And it's not too happy. So this is a gem in 15 thousandths. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to try to show you. When I, when I get the pick in, it just...
does not want to turn that corner. I don't know if you can see the pick in there, and it is just angled not well. So let's see what else I could try. Let's see what I have here. I'm looking for something shallow that I can just go off of the top warding with. All right, I think I can do that with just a regular number one. So let me try this again. <laughs> okay, guys. Um... I'm not sure when it stopped recording. It might have stopped recording when I got back to the table. Um, so I don't know what this is going to look like under edit. But just to recap, it's Cherokee Lotto 8. It's me trying to open this Reese and failing. And then I went over to the, my closet, my little cabinet, to get a lock, which I think you guys have seen open before, 50 millimeter Ace. And... Uh, so now we're going to pick it again, <laughs> and we'll see what it looks like on edit. Meanwhile, uh, we've got a big storm going outside. So it's a fun, fun evening here at uh, the newbie lock picking lab. All right, so I'm going to hope that you can see. I'll just try to rotate it up to you, but that's when I have tension on it, that's what the line looks like, okay? Uh, this time, I'm going to use this Southord uh, DeForest Diamond. And let's see if I can demonstrate the false set and the uh, uh, counter rotation. Okay, so one is springy. I just touched two and, and got a little false set going. Okay. So now the pick is sort of stuck because one is binding now. So I'm going to come back to one. Get counter rotation and a set. Okay, so I'm on two. Nothing really there. So three counter rotation and a set. Four counter rotation and a set. Five counter rotation and open. Now, I'll just say the 40 millimeter ace that I have was a bear to figure out how to open uh, because those spools would interact with each other and and you'd I'd get you'd, you'd ping pong and all that. This 50 millimeter, uh, millimeter ace is a lot more friendly. Okay, so like I said, I don't know what this how this is going to come out. Uh, I have some ideas on how to edit it, but it was a failed pick from package on this Reese. It was, which is a cool lock. I mean, I'm going to work on it. Hopefully, I'll get it for you guys. Um, you guys got to see some nice counter rotation and false set on this Ace. Um, thanks again to Zed Wrench for his giveaway back in March. Um, and most importantly, uh, thanks to Cherokee for running the Lotto 8 giveaway. I have to say, I really hope I win because I want to get back to doing Lotto Lock Tuesdays. So with that, dear friends, this is the Lock Picking Newbie. Um, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a good day.